Hey everybody, it's Adam Jorgensen here with Pragmatic Works and welcome back to our Azure Everyday Series. And today we're talking about mistakes you want to avoid with your big data analytics projects. And so we surveyed all of our customers that are doing big data, using it for analytics, using it for kind of scale out processing. And we found ones that are really loving it. And we found ones that are, you know, almost on the verge of moving away from it. They've tried it. They're not, they're not in love with it. They're having problems. And so we did kind of a deep dive with some of those customers that were having some challenges. And what we found was there's a lot of similarities. And so I want to share those with you today so you can avoid them or so you can identify them in your own environment. And really there's uh, four big ones that, uh, that we call out today. And that's uh, that they're not flexible. They're not fast or accessible, right? And so we've created this big data environment and it's very technologically advanced, but the organization can't use it. It struggles with performance. We, we overcame a technology problem, but not really a business problem. And so keep in mind the whole reason to do analytics and to use maybe a, a technology like big data or a cloud service is to make it more accessible, faster and more flexible. So keep those things in mind. If you're not achieving those, step back, take a look at how you're approaching it and maybe how you're aligned with those goals. Second, it's not meeting the business needs. So maybe we're not analyzing enough data. Maybe the business can't get to that data with something like Power BI. So the, the clusters processing, jobs are running, we're scoring data, we're making predictions but the business isn't connected to that data. And so being able to connect the business to that data is incredibly important. And so make sure that that's happening. Make sure your business feels like they're a part of the process. Um, when the business is part of the process, make sure the audience is appropriate. The third area we found was that the audience was too narrow, maybe a very, very small team. That's great for a pilot uh, to prove that the technology works. But if you say, hey, we use big data analytics to run our business and you're only using it to help you know, a couple of people in kind of a niche department, maybe manufacturing analytics or something like that, that's great and that's a good start, but keep building on that because the rest of the company is gonna feel like they're not getting the same level of buy-in and that's super important. We have to make sure that, uh, you know, we continue to grow the audience for that uh, type of data, that type of analysis. Last but not least, what are, the, what are the people gonna do when they get the data? Do, are they data literate? Do they understand how to, uh, access and analyze and understand the data that they're getting, what to do with it. There's got to be a little bit of upfront investment to get them connected with something like either Power BI or Azure Blob Storage or Data Lake where they know how to connect and access that data. They don't have to write a lot of code. They don't have to be developers. They get to do their job as analysts or managers or uh, line workers, what have you. But They've got to be data literate to work with all of this wonderful technology and all this wonderful analysis that you guys are providing. So it can be a little bit of a jumble sometimes to try to pull it together. Pragmatic Works has uh, a great proven strategy for how to do that. We've helped over 7,000 customers over the last 10 years solve these kinds of problems. So we'd love to talk to you. Let us know if you're interested and if you want to know more, we'll get you on uh, the phone with some of our really incredible architects and they'll help talk you through it. So click the link below for more information and we'll see you next time on Azure Every Day.